Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be making some fried dumplings. Alright, so in this container we have some flour. It's self-rising flour that you can see in the back. If you're going to be using the all-purpose flour, you'll need to add baking powder to the mixture or you'll have some rock hard dumplings. I just use a little bit of salt just for taste, so not too much as we Jamaicans would say. We'll just add a little toops of salt just to get that taste right. I'm gonna go ahead and add butter to the mixture as well. I, I, before the video, I melted two tablespoons of butter in this container that we're gonna add and then we're gonna mix it around just to evenly distribute the ingredients. If you wanna be proactive, you can go ahead and get your glass of water, which you're gonna need to make the dough. All right, so at this point, we're going to be adding the water, but we're going to be adding the water sparingly only because we don't want to add too much because then we'll have an entire mess. So you're going to add the water in small amounts, do that folding method that you see me doing on the screen. Just go ahead and mix that water into the flour and keep doing it until you see that dryness. You add a little bit more and then you start the folding process all over again. You don't want to add too much water because then it gets weird looking. So we're going to go ahead and keep folding and folding. This process, this kneading process, most time takes three to five minutes. Sometimes a little bit longer depending on how much flour we're using because we want, probably want a little bit more dumplings than normal. So we'll use a little bit more flour. But this time around, it's just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and add small amounts of water each time that time just now you saw that it was really only a sprinkle of water that we were using at this point the dough is all together so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the spoon because i cannot feel the dough to know if it is at that right texture so we're going to go ahead and get rid of the spoon make sure that your hands are clean because now we're going to go in hands first So we're going to be kneading the flour with our hands. At this point, we're going to be able to feel what the dough feels like. If it's a little bit too sticky, you want to add a little bit of flour to the mixture. If it's too dry, you want to add a little bit more water. But you have to be that judge. Right here, I'm going to add a wet piece of paper towel so i'm going to use the paper towel because i don't want when i'm ready to do the actual dumplings i have hard pieces in the mixture so so in this scene you can see where the pot is a little bit steamy the oil is already added and i'm making the dumpling you see how the flour just tears away that is going to mean that the dumpling is going to give you that flakiness inside which is what i really go for i'm currently just making like a little small ball in the palm of my hands and then i'll go ahead and flatten it just because i prefer to have it flat because i don't like it too doughy and i don't like big dumplings either actually none of my family does so i'm going to go ahead and add the dumplings to the oil you can see where it's bubbling so you know the oil is hot so I'm going to go ahead and add. I, I actually made a few of them before I started adding them. So I formed them enough to just go ahead and just flatten them to add to the oil. So I'm going to add a few of them to the mixture, to the oil right now. My bad. So we're going to have a total of seven dumplings in this pot. This is actually one of the princess house pots that my my 
mother-in-law sells. Um, if you need anything, just link up. We got you. So right here, you can see the color is coming perfectly. At this point, they're not cooked on the inside, but I don't like them too dark. So I'll go ahead and turn them over and I'll also keep flipping them just so that I don't get them too dark because I prefer to have mine a light brown kind of color. At the end of the video, you'll see the color that I prefer the dumplings and inside will be perfectly cooked as well. So I'll turn it about three to four times just to get the perfect color, which is right here. Thank you for watching.